Alex, real quick before you leave. Just update us on training camp, man. Man, up there with Abel and, and all the It's been countries. great. It's been great. Uh, we have a uh, Ragasev up there right now fighting yeah. as well. Um, it's just great, man. It's motivating being up there and training alongside everyone. We all push each other to to be better, you know? Yeah. Having Abel in your corner going into this fight, what advice has he given you? Because you're fighting in your hometown. That maybe that could overwhelm you to some extent. Has he given you any advice about it? Like, your lecture? Yeah, no, just to be relaxed, be calm. Uh, don't worry about anything, you know, people calling you for tickets and that. Just take, <laughs> put that away. Um, we're just really ready. We're ready. As he, he knows I'm ready. Um, I feel ready. Who's, who's going to be there to support you? Like, family, like mom, dad, all that? All that? Yeah, of course, mom, dad. Uh, I have my grandparents coming in from Mexico. Okay. Oh. And uncles uh, coming from Chihuahua. So... I'm gonna have a lot of support. No from, pressure to deliver then, no, no pressure at all. Just no, not at all. They they've been in fights before and you know they they they've supported me for a long time so yeah. they know what it's like. I was asking you yes I was asking you earlier about how you and Regis are with under the same management, the possibilities of the fight happening and you explained it to me but um out of, out of the division, do you feel that you're the biggest puncher? Because there's a few big punchers there. There's Sam, there's Jose Ramirez. Um, there's a few other guys, the names escape my mind right now at the moment. But do you feel you're the biggest puncher? Because you're a big puncher yourself. Do you feel you're the biggest puncher in that division? Or? Uh, no, I don't see myself as the biggest puncher. But I just I believe I'm aggressive. And I do have a punch that can change the fight with mm -hmm. one punch. Um, <clears throat> you know, we'll, we'll see it at the end of the see. Once we unify all titles, who's we'll standing. see who, who's standing, you know, who's, standing. Who's, who's the best one. Yeah. Uh, but, they, I mean, they're all great fighters. They're all yeah. great fighters that we want to fight, but I do want to demonstrate that I'm the best. June 30th is first, though. Yes. Um, who do you say is, the aside from yourself, who's the best one right now there? Who's who's the best one? Um, you see, the, I, I believe Maurice Hooker or Regis yeah. pro Progress mm -hmm. right now. Uh, the two best competition at 140 so mm -hmm. we would love to fight each one of those guys you know and, and Ramirez you, you, to get all the titles you had mentioned of possibly facing the winner of Hooker Flanagan Hooker won brings the title back to America it's easier fight for you to make um, did you see his fight and what did you make of your assessment of his fight against Flanagan no I did he he has a long reach long distance he was able to use it during the whole fight he looked good he looked strong uh, Got some good combinations in there, mm -hmm. um, and I knew that's how the fight was gonna go because uh, I worked around uh, Hooker. So we, you sparred, you sparred with him, I think. Yeah, we, yeah. we sparred, yeah, yeah. we sparred with Hooker. Uh, we worked, we worked around. Uh, he, I mean, he's actually a great guy, you know. But once it comes to business, business is business, and yeah. fight is a fight. How did, how did that sparring go without giving away any key moments or anything? How was that sparring with Hooker? It was good. It was good, aggressive. Both aggressive fighters, you know, uh, they both like to punch in there, so it was, it was a good sparring. Yeah, so what, what do you make of your changes since having sparred him to now? How does that, how do you, how do you, how do you change in as a fighter? Like, oh, no, I've changed so much, I've changed so much. It's going to be a whole different fighter if we fight. Uh, yeah. I know what he's not comfortable with. We've seen it in his three draws that he had. Um, he's very uncomfortable with an aggressive fighter that yeah. comes to him, so... Um, and I'm that type of fighter with a better punch. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Last words until the fans were to follow you June 30th. Uh, no, appreciate everyone for the support. June 30th, in Oklahoma City, my next fight. Uh, follow me on Ace Salcedo 12, uh, Alex Salcedo on Facebook, and El Cholo Salcedo on Twitter. Cool. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.